I'm here with Yukiko Sujimoto, Director of External Relations at Procter & Gamble Japan. Sujimoto-san, welcome. Um, I wanted to ask you about last year um, and 311, and obviously a very tough time for Japan and all your people. But as a company, uh, Procter & Gamble being the largest consumer packaged goods firm in the world, what were the most immediate things you had to think about as a business and what, what were the challenges you faced? Okay, the first things obviously what we did is to confirm employee safety and uh, the Japan headquarters were located in Kobe so that we can try to get the information as quickly as possible uh, from Tohoku, the North Japan has also a Tokyo office and try to find out the employee safety. And the second is that uh, because of the, uh, the big disaster happened in Japan and obviously broadly shared uh, the global community, so kind of try to have a common understanding as much as possible with the headquarters in Cincinnati. So we uh, overnight we trying to keep contacting that what's going on and Ari and even the minute uh, what's going on uh, type of thing. Yeah, and there was some misunderstanding, wasn't there, about what the possible impact might be on products? Do you want to tell us about that and how you how you got your message out? Okay, um, uh, the couple of products that produced in Japan is also being sold globally and uh, regionally and globally. And uh, because of the, uh, the big concern about the radiations, uh, and uh, some the consumers outside of Japan uh, started concerned on whether that the product produced in Japan is safe. And what we are trying to do is that obviously that to provide that uh, the first for communication, first for fact. Uh, to uh, the uh, stakeholders as well as consumers outside of Japan and to uh, make sure that the product is safe. Um, but at the same time that, uh, you know, easier things we can tell is that um, our baby diapers are produced in 600 kilometers from Fukushima, so should be safe. But at the same time that uh, most of the consumers in Japan is uh, live closer to the, uh, the Fukushima compared to the 600 kilometers. So we have to make sure that um, we, we, we don't offend uh, the consumers in Japan, uh, but obviously that we do make sure that consistent message uh, to Japanese consumers as well as outside of Japan so that we have uh, the lengthy discussion and alignment uh, globally. So what is the positions of the company? And f finally, um, social media is changing the way that consumer packaged goods companies market yes. and communicate. Yeah. How is that happening in Japan and is social media as big as it seems to be in the rest of the world? I think still that mass media plays an important role in Japan, but obviously looking back at three years, of, you know, raises three years, it's so much changing rapidly. So we have to make sure that we are you know, we, we understand what's going on and that uh, the protect in future uh, so that we are not something left behind. Uh, the one thing important is we are the cons consumer goods company, so consumers like uh, every month, they have an opportunity to choose competitors brand. Sure. So we have to keep engaging consumers so that uh, I think for the initial awareness building, mass marketing still plays an important role, but at the same time that keep engaging consumers for a long time, ongoingly, uh, we have to make sure that we have uh, connections uh, with consumers. So social media plays a very, very important role. And uh, also after the uh, earthquake, uh, e-commerce is becoming much more important, even for our, our kind of consumer goods company. Uh, goods company. So I think that e-commerce um, for uh, engaging consumers, the social media, again, uh, is playing a very important role in addition to mass media. Okay, well thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much.